We're in Southersville, the potential site of Nitro Circus star Travis Pastrana's proposed action sports complex, Circuit 199. And we thought who better to talk to than Travis himself. Check it out. I really love spending time with my family. Now I have two daughters. Uh, they, my oldest, Addie, just started kindergarten. They love go-karting. They love pump track. They love BMX. Uh, my wife won the World Championship for skateboarding last year, so she wants to be on her board. She loves pump tracks, and I love racing cars. And I said, you know what? If we can do all of this in one place, really bring the community together, bring the family together, and have some fun. Right. And I thought, what better way to show that off than to join you at Pastrana Land today? Test jump, kind of see how it feels before you go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Well, thanks for coming. I couldn't believe it. You, most of the camera guys stayed behind the camera. You were like, nope, give me that bicycle. <laughs> All right, let's jump off. This was, I tell you, I was I was really impressed. You stayed safe, too, so that was good. You're a little yeah. dirty, but. Well, that was the goal. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that way. Yeah, it you happens. know we had fun. We had a good time, always. <laughs> Travis is big on safety, right? Like, I think that's that's the most important part of me. You don't want you don't want to see anyone get hurt doing anything, right? So that's why, you know, we, we, we put that first for sure. And, and uh, if you're having a great time still and you're safe, hey, that's great. That's perfect. What was it like seeing all the kids enjoy your property knowing that they could have that soon. This was so cool. I mean, just to see the whole Eastern Shore kind of mountain bike community just kind of invited everyone out and said, hey, check out the pump track. You know, it's, it's going to be a lot bigger. Obviously, this is kind of like a small version um, as far as like just we don't have much room here to, to work with as far as, um, you know, Sellersville with this much bigger property. It'll be the, the highest tech safety stuff, the best riders from around the world, the best drivers getting there to um, really show what they can do and, and on all new facilities. So that'll be a lot of fun. But today, to see all the mountain bikers and to see the first time they were going around that course, out of the smiles, I was like, this is cool, you know, and that's, uh, that's definitely, now as a father, that's kind of what I live for. Right, and you put me on the pump track for my first time. I ain't been on a bike. <laughs> oh, you know, what? we always say the kids, it's always the adults, they're like, this is pretty good. A two-time gold medalist can have just as much fun as the kids do on a pump track, right? Anyone can ride a pump track from, you know, small little kids to adults and have an absolute blast. You can be a beginner and have fun here or be an expert and still have just as much fun. <laughs> So what do you think it means to be able to bring something like this to Queens County with Circuit 199 and have the kids in the county have this luxury? I think it just, it's a phenomenal experience just for the whole family. Not to mention that you know people can learn things that they've never done before. They can be taught by the pros. You have Travis Lestrana who is he is the king of action sports in my mind. In all aspects, he has helped everyone progress, whether it was bicycles, motorcycles, uh, skateboarding, uh, rollerblading, it doesn't matter. He just likes if you're having fun and he will help you as much as he can. So I think bringing that to the community is gonna, it's gonna open a lot of eyes to some things that people have never done before. But you'd be surprised how many people love action sports and they're just looking for a place like this to ride. Well, you saw my moves out there. Yeah. See, they were, I mean, they were impressive. Did you have fun out there? I had a, I had a blast. See, and yeah. like, you don't have to be a pro to have fun and that's the best part about, you know, a place like this. Did you just say I'm not a pro? No, well you are. You're oh, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to give you an idea of the proposed site plan, we're standing on the edge of Sellersville, right off of 313, where these fields of gold would be turned into Circuit 199. So what exactly would come with Circuit 199? Well, first I'll start out with what it's not. It's not a motocross track. I think, I mean, I love motocross. I have done motocross my whole life, but that is dust, um, you know, guys riding all the time. This, we're building a pump track, which is basically like a small BMX track uh, for beginner riders. My kids started on our pump track when they were two years old um, with little strider bikes, and then an intermediate course, and then kind of a more advanced course that'll so have um, some pretty big jumps. Hope to get the world championship in there. We have some great local uh, bicycle companies with Hyper Bicycle that are really jumping on board to try to um, bring everything kind of back to the community on that. And it's also where my kids and my wife are going to be spending a lot of time, so that's how I kind of get out there for the, the rest of the track. But um, we also want to do with the Olympics and everything that's going on right now, uh, everyone's coming to Nitro Circus say, hey, how do we build these landings safer? How do we help our guys elevate their levels with less injuries and to, to do more um, for the sport. So 
that's where we're going to build also. Um, obviously, that won't be open to the public, but we'll be doing a couple shows there a year. And you know, hopefully the guys that will progress from the pump track and we'll have some of the top guys and the world champions coming through uh, to learn from, uh, we'll be able to get there. But for me, another big thing is to build racing from the ground up. Uh, we're really working with Rotax uh, in Can-Am. Those guys make uh, electric go-karts. So a lot of the stuff that we're doing going forward is going to start out with electric. So we're not bringing any V8s. It's not NASCAR. Uh, we're building two rally cars, which is supercars, and they're starting with electric in 2021. Uh, uh, so there's still be, it's a racetrack. There's going to be noise, but at the end of the day, we're going to do our best to work within the community and uh, have some fun out there. The hope is not only would Circuit 199 help the town's economy, it would also be a boon for the businesses and the housing market in Sutlersville. You know, it's funny because everyone's like, well, why are you going to Sutlersville? I'm like, because it's Maryland. It's home. It's I can go home to my house every night. We can go out there, um, but we have so many guys that are always around here, and I want a place that you can bring guys from all over the world, and it's open year-round. I mean, the pump track will be free of charge year-round. We'll have some events there that you know will be a pay to, pay to enter the event, but um, you know it's just going to bring in some of the most world-class athletes from all over the world, um, you know, into the community, which I think will be pretty cool. I think any kid, any person, would would come to a place like this wherever it is and and just be over the moon excited i mean this is i mean every this is every childhood dream this place you know you got jumps everywhere you've got foam pits you've got <laughs> vehicles you've got bikes i mean literally anything that you want to have fun on um you know is here and 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 yeah having something like this uh, you know, would, would be really, really cool for sure for everyone, for, for no matter what your age is. It's unbelievable. I mean, I wish I could do something like that with my hometown. I mean, just getting the, the people that never get to experience that to let them have that, you know, experience and go, oh, you know, I can ride a, a bicycle, I can ride a, a dirt bike, whatever, where normally they wouldn't have that opportunity. So I think it's amazing, super cool. So what would it mean to bring something like this with the pump track and all the, the trails, the jumping to Queens County? everything. Um, the kids out that direction don't have a lot of real uh, fruitful activities um, to partake in. We have learned through the many, many years that we've been involved with biking what a close community it is, how it develops the students, um, the student athlete, um, how it gives them some purpose, um, and some of them find a new path that can take them, well, as far as they want to go. That's right. And you actually have some students now that are graduating that are going on to do some good things, right? That's correct. We've got a student who had an opportunity to go to uh, race a World Cup circuit or uh, go to college on a scholarship, and he's going to be going to five-year engineering school and ride his bike the whole time while he's doing it. Um, so it yeah, brings some incredible opportunities. The biggest smiles on our face. Like, this, they didn't they were rode bicycles a little before, but it was right around that thing. They're like, I'm addicted. This is so cool. Let's be able to pump and learn how to... It, it feels like you're doing something extreme on a bicycle, but you're really just pumping around, getting a little exercise, and doing some fun. Right. What about the foam pits and the uh, going into the airbag? Have you done those? Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I learned how to flip. I was actually the first person to ever front flip a mountain bike, and because of the foam pits, and you get to go outside your comfort zone. Because before these, the practice, you had to do it the hard way. Right. <laughs> you had to fight with getting fights with real gravity. <laughs> yeah. Before I let you go, I feel like I should at least acknowledge for the people that are watching, you have quite the Guinness Pro World uh, record, don't you? Uh, I, have, I have a bunch of world records. <laughs> one of them is really funny. Uh, I get the world record for the most one hand claps in a minute. That's awesome. I get a, there, some are kind of funny, some are kind of cool, like the world's first front flip on a dirt bike. Right. Which Travis still has not done off a normal ramp. Man, it sounds like he owes, he owes you like an orange hat for that, right? Yeah, I got one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And I feel like I've been at least semi-professional today, but if I may nerd out for a second, did anyone earn an orange hat today? No world's first, I'm sorry, and you didn't get medevaced out, so that was good, <laughs> you know, but those are the two ways to earn an orange hat. I like that you know that, and I, I kind of hope that you never earn one, but maybe you will do a world's first. Maybe we get this facility built and you'll keep practicing. I'll keep working. I'll, yeah. do, the, I'll do the first McTwist at the new park or something. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good hat. Reba Dirty. How about that feel?